A few blocks from Parliament Hill, on the 15th floor of this downtown tower, discreetly sits the posh and private Rideau Club. In 2014, senior tax accountants, including executives from KPMG, invited 20 top enforcement bureaucrats of the Canada Revenue Agency to private reception here. CPA Canada, the accountant's umbrella group, picked up the tab. Watchdogs in the federal government are required to avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest, to not accept uh, hospitality of any kind from people that they're watching over. Canada Revenue Agency employees are governed by a code of conduct, which places restrictions on hospitality from the private sector. The assistant commissioner says this was all part of normal meetings with stakeholders. I, I, I don't think it's a problem. We're discussing policy and practices and approaches. It happens infrequently. And then, you know, any hospitality that's accepted is, is below $50. But at the same time, the CRA was in secret talks with KPMG over its Isle of Man tax dodge scheme. A year later, the agency struck a secret amnesty with the accounting firm's wealthy clients. Je ne vois pas comment on puisse défendre la présence. This ethics professor says meetings in a private club between CRA enforcement officials and executives from an accounting firm under probe should never happen. The opposition called for an investigation. So will the minister reopen the sweetheart deals and launch an investigation into this apparent conflict of interest? The minister said that CRA must meet with, quote, partners to promote tax law compliance and that no one who worked on the KPMG file attended those receptions. What's more, it seems these kinds of receptions happen all the time. Since 2010, CRA executives have attended dozens of events hosted by major tax accounting and law firms across the country, the very firms the CRA is supposed to keep an eye on. Frédéric Zarak, CBC News, Vancouver.